We are following some breaking news right now. The governor holding a briefing right now, and he just announced moments ago that the statewide mask mandate here in Connecticut will be over on February 28th. Yeah, this is actually a few weeks before New Jersey's governor just announced today that they were ending their mask mandate in schools mid-March. So again, it would be February 28th here in Connecticut. It essentially is going to put the power back in the hands of the district's school superintendents. Let's listen in on what Governor Lamont's saying right now. And now we are seeing a much more rapid downtick than what we've seen with any previous variant that we've had so far to date. What we know is that our case counts are dropping, our percent positivity is dropping, although what that means today is different than it meant a year ago. We have self-tests that are ongoing at home, we also know that vaccines are really good at keeping you out of the hospital and prevent you from dying. However, we have had some breakthrough cases. So that also adds to the percent positivity. If you have a mild case of COVID, even though you've been boosted, that adds to the positivity number, but that's not the same number in terms of severity of disease in our population. Our hospitalizations are coming down. We're not where we need to be just yet but they are coming down and they're coming down a lot faster than they were in the past because we have a milder variant, although our numbers reached almost the levels they were in April of 2020. We are coming down much more rapidly than we ever did before. Vaccinations, again, are our number, way, number one way for people to stay safe. And what we know now is that different communities have different rates. And so therefore, putting this decision at the local level where school boards can assess their population and decide with their community, with their other leaders in their community, what works best for them is something that we are going to be allowing local districts to be making those decisions for those in their community. We expect that our numbers will continue to go down. We still know that masking is an effective way to keep kids in school. But now schools will have that opportunity to decide for themselves what works best for their community at the local level. And with that, I will turn it over to Commissioner Russell Tucker. Thank you, Commissioner, and thank you, Governor. And, you know, throughout this pandemic... All right, that is Connecticut's have... Public Health Commissioner uh, following up the governor who just made a very big announcement here in Connecticut. He is ending the mask mandate that is put in place in schools and child care settings on February 28th and putting that power back into the local district superintendents uh, and people who are on school boards. And, you know, the big news here is the fact that the governor said earlier that the reason why he's doing this in coordination with New Jersey and other states is that as a whole, as a population, we're in a very different position right now when it comes to having the tools to keep ourselves safe, uh, mostly crediting vaccinations, especially in those younger age ranges. Yeah, I and mean, you just heard those numbers are declining. Our positivity rate, uh, you know, below 5 percent today, which is a big deal. A lot more to come on this. Our Gabby Molina is at that press conference and we'll certainly continue to follow uh, what local districts are saying about it coming up.